Good day, viewers, grazer, and welcome to another episode of Grazer's Freshwater Fishing. So, just gone July, it's winter, and we've just head out to my local lake epilogue. Lakes, yeah, lake's pretty full, so it's up around 97%. And yeah, clarity just put in here at the Kim Bolton Pool, and um, clarity's looking pretty good, so. We're going to go out and do something a bit different today. We're going to go out and see whether we might be able to chase down a cod um, first thing. So we're going to do that and then we might, um, yeah, see if we can chase a few. Got to spend the majority of the day out here, so weather pending. And yeah, let's hope we get onto a few fish. <laughs> As you can see, so we've got the two rods out, so we've got the spinner bait just on this left one and we've got that AC invader just on that right one there. You can see that's just um, bobbing up and down, so that's working through the water really well. Another thing to check with your um, spinner bait is just give it a bit of a pull up and you can just sort of feel that, that blade working through the water, so we know that's working well. So yeah, we're all set. Let's see if we can get one. So just with the fish finder, we've got the the Lawrence in the Elite, and um, we're just running the two di uh, the two D sonar just on the left hand side here, and um, and structure sound just on the right. So as you can see, water temp sitting at 11.2, being first thing in the morning, so it's quite chilly. Um, and we're just sort of trawling a range of depths, you know, anywhere from sort of up to 10 metres. Um, we're sort of just hugging the edges here on this rocky bank, but you can sort of see the rocky bottom here. Um, is our thermal line sort of sitting around that sort of three to four metres. And you know, a few fish here, a few fish here. We've got a bit of structure here, a bit of tree. You can see a few fish sort of hanging off here. Um, as you can sort of see on the 2D sonar. So, and I can feel that lure sort of hitting the bottom now. You can sort of see the rocks here. So, yeah. So very much just looking for fish. Um, just monitoring our depth. Just trying a few different spots, a few different depths, and you can sort of see that thermal line sort of hitting the bottom here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll continue to sort of just work along here and see how we go. We just had a touch then. On the spinner bait. As you can see we've got some fish here. I'd say they're ready, some good school of ready. You can see them here, the archers on the 2D sonar. And yeah, heap of readies just sort of sitting here in that four four to five meters of water. So you can sort of see the dots here on the structure sound and the, the archers here. Got a few sort of sitting along the bottom as well. Another really good example, you can see our big arches here sitting on this drop off. And you can see here on the structure sound, you can see these blotches, so they're fish. I'd say they're a school already sort of sitting here, but just never know, there might be a good fish sort of just sitting off there. So, a um, really good area to be trawling through. Well, I've got a little ready here, I'd say. Uh, 
we go. He's a nice ready. There we go. Little ready caught him on the trawl. Just taking that little shad. And now he's sort of pushing up around that 25. Another really good patch of fish here. Look at them here. Big arches here. A massive school of redfin just here. We're sort of just moving at that around that two k's. You can sort of sit him here. See him sitting here at that five to six meters. Good school of redfin just in there. So no luck on the trying to trawl down the Murray cod. So it's just sort of gone ten o'clock, and. Um, yeah, we're going to see whether we might be able to chase down a few epilock redfins. So we'll try a couple of different spots and flick a few lures and see how we go. Oh yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a good size ready. He's sort of pushing that 30 plus. Just got him on the little little crankless vibe. Ripper. Yep. Yep. There we go. Let's try just out there, Phil. Starting to wake up, which is good. He's only little, that one. Yep. Another nice little ready. Picked him up on the little vibe there. Second one, I think we might have found a patch, hopefully. So we've just changed up tack. We're not getting a great deal of bites on the lure, so what we've decided to do is um, drop some worms down and drop some bait. So we're just hanging that off the side here. Um, just with a little ball sinker, just a little size one hook with a few few worms on it. And we're going to leave that hang out the side and see whether anything's interested on that while we're flicking a few lures around. They just won't take it. They've all come up and had a cut and cook. Yep, got him. Got him, got him, got him. There you go, he's not bad. There we go, nice one. Just got him on the little switch play, just right next to the boat. He's a good little red fin.
Yep. Got him. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a bit smaller, that one. He's all right. Yeah. Yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad. Hop back at Eva, you don't want to fall in. He's a good ready. It's alright. <laughs> he grabbed that right at the boat, right at the top. <laughs> Oh, how good's that? The old switchblade's doing the job. Nice one. Another nice ready. Just got him on the switchblade. Got a little patch underneath us here. We're just picking them up. Just dropping and lifting and yeah, they're coming up. This one took it right at the boat. Oh, you got about 30 chasing it too. Phil's on one. He's got one. It's first day at one for the day. Good stuff. Alright, you need the pliers or? Yep. <coughs> yep. Yeah, he's alright. Nice. Nice one. <coughs> he's a good ready. Ripper. Yeah, I want it. Nice one. Just got him on the little switch blade. Just hunting around, just hack on these points and yeah, fish on. Good stuff. So there you have it guys day on Lake Epilogue, managed to find a few fish which was really good. Um, obviously being winter they've been a little tough but um, yeah a lot of fun. So thanks for tuning in, make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, enjoying the content hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video.